What is up? Uh, if you if you watch this one first, just know there is a second video that is the lesson prep for the week. If you are here after watching the lesson prep video for the major announcement, here it is. I am going to be off for the entire month of August, not vacation time, just sabbatical. Um, our team, uh, our staff, is implementing a new a new policy, a new. I don't know what you call it, um, where every five years, pastors will get four weeks off. Now, I've been here for eight in my ninth year now, um, and, and that has not been a thing up till now. So therefore, I have not received that. And so um, they said, hey, we're going to start by going who's been here the longest and is also in a place where they need that break. Um, and, and I don't know if you guys know this, but number one, COVID was was really annoying for every single person on the planet, um, not just people at Valley Real Life and not just people that are, work at churches. Um, but but you, you'll notice, like if you just process through, um, in my eight going on nine years here, I said going on, I'm in the ninth year, but my ninth year just started. But in my in my eight years here, uh, I have had six or seven admins and also, uh, six or seven early childhood coordinators and two Kidman team leads and two next gen team leads. Um, and that's a lot of turnover. And, and in the most recent time, uh, all, all the other members of our team, uh, quit or, or stepped out or, uh, like Otis went independent. So we lost Dana from our team. So she didn't quit, but she's not on that team anymore. Um, and so then before we hired Michelle, I was, I was doing this all by myself and, and I just went to Dan a few, probably two months ago now. And I just said like, dude, I don't know how much longer I can do this because I am exhausted. Like that's what I just said, man. Um, I, I will probably have to step out soon permanently because I, because I just can't keep doing this. And, and what I simply meant there was, um, it's not that what I'm carrying is, is this heavy weight that no one understands. It's that I've just been holding out this, this, I've been carrying this weight by myself for so long. And they said, well, Hey, let's get you a break. And I go, how are we going to do that? And they said, okay. Um, so, so what you'll know is a few weeks ago, I flew to Milwaukee spur of the moment. I told you guys, I, you know, I, posted about it and whatnot. Um, I went to Milwaukee just going like, I, I need a short term, like I need a break today. Um, to the point that they told me on, on Tuesday, like, don't be here tomorrow. And so I took Wednesday off, but I had my computer at home and I couldn't quit working. Um, because I just felt like there was too much that needed to get done. And I said, okay, I have to get out of here. So on on Wednesday, I'm working from a coffee shop. Where I'm supposed to be taking a you know a couple of days off. I booked a ticket. I flew to Milwaukee. I went to an NBA playoff game just because I couldn't. I had to leave my computer here for service and all these things. And so I said, guys, I don't think I can take time off because I won't be able to quit working. They said, great, we're going to take your computer and we're going to force you to take some time off. And so, um, so I, that that all being said, this has all happened in the last four weeks. Um, they then said, "Hey, you're going to take time off in August," and I said, oh, "August is really soon. There's not really a lot of time to communicate." And they said, "September's not going to be better for you. October's not going to be better. Life continues to stay busy, so they're just they're just kind of kicking me out." Um, but the reason I want to say this to you this this way. I'm in a room by myself. Um, no one is going to check this video be between hands. Um, you know, I'm going to post this straight to you with no one. I want you to know what I'm saying is honestly coming from me and no one else. Uh, two years ago, you know, uh, two two years and two months, I guess. Um, I I took another four weeks off. It was not in the same context. Uh, if, if you're newer to our team, here's what you need to know. Um, I'm, I'm pretty open about my history with anxiety and depression and mental health struggles. Uh, and I had like a full on mental breakdown and uh, it was it was pretty bad. And so I took a month off, not as rest, not as sabbatical. I took it as just straight up recovery of, of basically feeling like I'd been hit by a truck. And so um, I came back and, and quite frankly, uh, I came back from that and I never really hit a hundred percent of, of just like my emotional bandwidth, my mental clarity. And so for two years, I've been, I've been doing all the Kidman stuff, but I feel a little bit like I'm running through sand instead of running on a track. And, and so I'm used to like, my brain thinks that I should be going really fast, but for some reason I just never got 
back to it um, and never allowed myself to believe that that was going to be okay. Like I had, I, I always am going like, how do I get back to a hundred percent while understanding that honestly with, with what I went through, this might be the hundred percent for me. And I just need to kind of adjust things around that. And so I said, guys, I'm exhausted. Um, and, and I, I need a break. And so they, and I say they, I mean, uh, specifically Dan and Jay, I've been talking with them a lot. Um, they said, dude, let's get you a break. Let's, let's get you out of here. Uh, I have not been at VRL the longest, uh, Brad and Scott Sparley and Eric Svensson, uh, Brad Pesnell, they've been here longer than me. Uh, they said, Trevor, we're going to, we're going to put you first in this because those guys aren't burnt out and they're not exhausted. And when they went through COVID, they had teams and their whole team didn't quit and they weren't the only person for an entire department. Um, so all that being said, up until last week, I wasn't sure I was taking August off. And so you're going like, why are you just telling us now? It's like a week and a half away because, uh, literally last night I was talking to Jordan at home and I was like, dude, I don't think I can take August off. Cause I feel like I'm in a car that's speeding down the freeway and I'm about to jump out and skid across the road. And, uh, I think I need more time. And she was like, Nope, you don't get more time. You need to take a break. And, uh, so I'm going to be off. I don't know exactly how we're going to pass off some of these sorts of things, but just know I'm in Spokane. I'm going to be around. I might jet out of town for like a couple days and like I don't, I've, oh, a month to go see family or whatever. Um, so I might do that, but I need to know. If you want to reach out and like grab coffee or grab lunch and not talk about Kidman stuff, I'm all in on it. Okay. So my schedule is going to be wide open. Um, and, and I'm not in like a mental health crisis. In fact, they said, Hey, we don't want you to be in a mental health crisis. So go take a month off. And so like, the only thing I'm really bummed about is like, I don't like baseball and it's not football season or basketball season. So I'm just going to stuck at home. So, um, you're not going to see me. That being said, you're not going to really, you're not going to hear from me in a work capacity, but I, I am here. Reach out, say, say what's up. Let's meet up. Let's have a good time. Um, but the last thing I wanted you guys to think is that I either a was like getting fired or got in trouble or something. Um, or on the flip side that I had another like mental health breakdown crisis stuff. Um, because while that's obviously a real possibility for me, um, that is not what's going on here. So, uh, you're going to be fully stocked and taken care of, and you guys are super competent, but there's also going to be a staff person, uh, that's going to jump in and just kind of, just kind of keep the train going while I'm gone. Um, and I'm going to come back and, uh, and we're going to talk about some really, really fun, cool stuff. I'm excited to not be able to turn my brain off. And like, there's a Kidman conference in Nashville in October. And like, I'm trying to figure out how to get, get volunteers who want to go to Nashville. Once I can just go party in Nashville, um, at a Kidman conference, you know, like things like that are going to come up. So, um, that being said, July 30th, maybe 31st, um, it's a Friday night. Jungle Cruise comes out on Disney+. Plus. It'll be my last real thing where I'm like at church for a month. Um, so come watch a free movie. It's a $30 rental or $30 purchase, whatever. I'm buying it. We're going to come watch here. Um, Priscilla already put Twizzlers down on the list because I'm like, Dude, whatever snacks you guys want, let's get them. Let's blow it out. Um, and, then, and then, yeah, I'll be back in September and we will rock and roll. So if you have any questions, Talk to me about it next, because I'm not here this weekend because I'm on my bike ride. Talk to me about it next weekend. I'll tell you anything. Text me. I'll tell you anything. Um, don't text me on Friday or Saturday expecting a response. I'll be on a bike and wanting to die. So have a great day. Have a great week. I'll see you guys uh, the last weekend of July. Did I say? Oh, man, guys, I made a huge mistake in uh, in this one here, but never mind. Ignore it. Ignore me. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you in a couple of weeks and then uh, and I'll see you a couple weeks after that. Peace out.